thank you for being here today. Thank you. So thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. So thank you for being here today. <laughs> so thank you, Johnny, for being with us today. No what is your overall thoughts of this season? Well, for the five years I've been here, um, this season has probably been the best out of the five, uh, mainly because um, there's like a lot of strength in our team this year, and all the players are really smart, and we're able to um, do really well this season. So, yeah. Well, the season, it's been a surprise, I have to say. Um, to be honest, I really did not think we'd be this good, but we're here, quarterfinals, next week. Honestly, it was way better than I thought, because like, at the beginning of the year, like we didn't even have that many players, and like to the point where coach thought we were going to have to pull the team. So for us to be able to like pull together and actually like win the division, that's, that's a big accomplishment. Yeah. Uh, my overall thoughts on the season, I think I was very surprised how the season went. Um, I wasn't expecting to be able to win the Western Conference. And um, I'm very proud of the team, how they've done, and how everyone's come together, especially from last year, how we've done. Who has been your toughest opponent to date this year? Definitely it was Bolinas uh, uh, from the island. Um, we had a really tough game, um, not as much uh, practice, uh, not as much um, troubleshooting. I guess uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of our key players got injured during the game, so uh, it really uh, made a struggle. So. I think we win there. Yeah, win there. Our last game. Last game was really hard. Yeah, it came down to like the last the play. Last play. Last. Yeah. I think our toughest opponent was either Windsor or Barsby and they were ranked higher than us. But in those games, we definitely came together as a team and played our best. And I think, yeah, the team really made a difference. Uh, well, it probably had to be Bolinas. Uh, in our home opening, they beat us 28 to zero. Pretty embarrassing, but um, I think we, Grown as a team to the point where if we see them again, we'll probably be. What is something you or your team can work on in hopes of getting far in the postseason? We definitely have to work on our emotions and like channeling, channeling them and like not like getting too riled up because past few games we've had some like ejections and all that type of stuff and we're not going to win if you have a bunch of people ejected so yeah you have to work on that. I think we need to limit the amount of plays that we miss. We have a lot of uh, bigger plays that we drop, like drop footballs. Um, we have plays where our blocking could be better. So it's just cleaning up the little things and working on details and making sure we stay focused on the basket. Probably just fixing mistakes. Mistakes? Yes. Yeah, so we have a lot of broken plays. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're a really aggressive team. Like When we get angry, it's hard to get out of that mindset. I mean, we kind of take it on the other team sometimes and it, it costs us. What will you take from this year's team moving forward? Uh, this team, I'd say the brotherhood of the team is something that um, I'll take. Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, everyone just has each other's back no matter what, and it's been great. Um, I would say definitely the quarterbacking experience I've gotten like, in game and uh, most of the leadership stuff that I learned from this team, being able to lead them, and show them uh, a winning attitude towards uh, games. Well, definitely the team building, I guess. Um, again, five years being on the football team, 
I have been able to build a lot of connections with my teammates. And I think uh, going into post-secondary, that will be very helpful for me to communicate with people that I may not know. And so that I can be able to communicate well and do well. Uh, I mean, I got another year, so. <laughs> uh, the friendships that I'm like, just like brotherhood is just really good. I mean, like, we see you guys in the hallway, we see them after practice, we see them basically all the week. Friendships don't really last a long time, that's true. Sure. What are you most proud of that happened during this year's season? I guess in general, just winning more than like three games. Because for me, uh, each season uh, out of the five years I've been here was winning one, winning two, winning three games. And look at us now, we're winning like almost every single game this season. And for me personally, this is the first time I've been, I, I've ever gone to playoffs. So definitely an achievement in my book. I'd say the win that we had against Windsor was the highlight of our year. Uh, that was a big game. And um, to go, that was the first time I've ever seen him cry. So that was pretty crazy. So that, that had to be the highlight of our year. Being confident. So nobody expected us, they doubted us all year. Every single game they said we were going to lose. I would say the one thing for me that I'm most proud of is being able to be named a conference all-star. I thought that was really great. And also I was very proud of the team when we won uh, the Western Conference against Windsor. That was a very proud moment of mine. Would you rather be the smartest kid in school or win your Subway Bowl tournament? Oh, win your Subway Bowl Not even a question. Bowl games? <laughs> Question. I mean, I'm not that smart, but I think winning the Subway Bowl ring would be an uh, achievement that I say is something that will last in my entire life. I have to go with the Subway Bowl. I mean, I'd say I'm pretty smart already, so I'd have to say the Subway Bowl. Well, I'm already not the smartest kid in school, so definitely Subway Bowl, 100%. How important is winning compared to making sure that you, your football team is successful in the classroom? Well, the goal has always stated this since the beginning of the season, do the right thing. And although winning games is awesome, I think that doing the right thing is to do the right thing in the school, to, to do our best in the school, being successful, keeping up to date with our classes, going to tutorials and stuff. Uh, and then putting winning under that. I'd say, yeah, focus on a success in class before winning. I'm just like, okay, so winning, right? <laughs> winning means everything. To but we are really, we are really winning basically. It, yeah, because you know, losing, it's not so much winning, it's, it's everyone on our team hates losing. Yeah. So we, we do what we can to win, but then again, coach doesn't let us play unless our grades are right. So we gotta, we gotta okay, stay on top. We stay right in the classroom. And we go up in the I would say both are very big. Um, they're very important because uh, if you can't be a student athlete, if you can't work in the books, then you can't work at practice. Uh, Mr. Dego, he's made a big part of getting to tutorials at lunchtime or at break or before school instead of taking away from practice time because that's very important. Um, it's also very important that we use the time wisely at our practices. Uh, be able to get better. Thank you, Mr. Go, for coming out and taking some football questions for us. Sure, no problem. <laughs> All right, first question. Yeah. How long have you been coaching Crusader football? Uh, this is my 10th year at the school, so since I first started, I've been coaching here for 10 years. What was your favorite moment in those 10 years? Oh, there's lots. Um, I don't know if there's a favorite moment. There's certain just times where it was just one of the fun. Uh, one of the more favorite moments was our quarterfinal game a couple of years ago against GW Graham and just watching, you know, for a lot of our kids being in BC Place for the first time, that was a lot of fun just to see them excited. I mean, it was a fun game we lost, but it was still a fun game to be part of. It went to overtime and it had all the drama that you could want in a football game. And I mean, it didn't work out, but I think that whole experience coming in, especially because going into overtime, Notre Dame and Vancouver College, they were playing right after us and their crowd started coming in and it just added this whole atmosphere because 
even though they weren't there for us, both schools, they got into the game too. So I did like, and the guys were looking around going, coach, everybody's here. And you add that to it, and then you go into overtime where the stakes are exponentially higher. And it's actually, it was just a, one of those fun moments, like this is crazy fun. Like just, you live for that. So it's a big experience for the boys. Uh, yeah, playoffs are huge. I mean, playoffs are always special, especially for senior sports. But I mean, the difference between a lot of the other senior sports, your season doesn't end after you lose one game. There's always that tournament and there's back, back door draws in place. And football is, when you lose, it's over. Like you go to your court, if you go to your playoff game and you lose, it's done. There's no next day. It's so it has that very much that heightened, a little bit more anxiety or what you want to call it or anxiousness, but the stakes are higher. Because this for a lot for the grade 12s, when it's over, it's done. There's no other way to do it unless they're going to the next level. And some guys do, but it's definitely got that different. It has a different feel to it. All right. Next question. What is what is your team's greatest strength this year? Our in team. Your opinion? I think our team's greatest strength is the fact that they all work together. Like, they're, they're a cohesive unit. Um, you know, they work well offensively together. They work well defensively together. They all get along. Um, I mean, seemingly, they all get along. But they all work together. There's no one person that's the per that guy and everybody leans on them. Everybody has their role. Everybody does what they're supposed to at all times. And they all want to win. And I think it's that drive that they all want to win. And do good and do good and be proud of who they are. Um, you know, they they walk with a pride to them. They like being up there. So I think that's a, a strength for us. You technically answered the next question, sure. but uh, your team right now has an amazing has had an amazing season so far. Yeah. How do you think you can maintain this form moving into the playoffs? Uh, keep practicing the way we have been. We had a really good week of practice before our Windsor game, which we won the conference. That was a really solid week. Um, this week we have a bye, so we get some time to get better at what we do, as opposed to prepping for another team. This is, hey, we got to clean up some stuff. Like, we're not perfect. No team is at this point, so we want to get better at what we do. And so far, so good this week. You know, we've gotten better and started to execute better, and then we just carry on that momentum from Windsor. And we have like, another good week of practice, and hopefully things go well, and it just continues to snowball. And to close off the interview, how important is winning compared to making sure your football team is successful in the classroom? I mean, I want, at the end, football is such a small microcosm of a, of a school year. I want them to win, sure. But when they graduate, for a lot of these guys, this will be the last time they play football. So that's super important to do well in school. Be good people. Um, it's funny you asked that question because a couple years ago, a uh, sports reporter asked me the same question. I said, you know, I don't know how you measure my success as a coach isn't necessarily going to be measured at the end of the season. It'll be measured 10 years from now, 20 years from now, when the kids that I've coached, who they are as people, that'll be the measure of what's, what I've done as a coach. That's That'll be the kicker when it's all said and done, when they're adults and they have their own families are they good people are they whatever are they successful in whatever career they choose and definition of success can vary from person to person and that's fine everybody's got their own measure of it but i mean yeah i want absolutely don't get me wrong i want to win but if all i do is want to win i'm actually not a very good coach there has to be more than just winning because i'll be honest i don't know who won seven games last year. And if you go back, it's hard to remember. Not everybody remembers who won, but everybody knows how well these kids have turned out, what, how well they turn out. And to me, that's still more important than just wins and losses because there's something else that there, it has to be bigger than this. Football is bigger than just wins and losses. All right, thank you for coming out and doing our interview, and congratulations on your season. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.